hello dear students in our last class we had a discussion on problems on direction ratios and direction quotients adra bage discuss madidivi in this class we are moving to the very important concept derivation of lines just compare with the two dimensional geometry compare martini in two dimensional geometry we have the equation line y is equal to mx plus c right y is equal to mx plus c and second one y is e or uh, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and another one passing through the two points in the formula y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 alpha so these are the formulas we are discussing in 11th standard two dimension geometry discuss madidi but here in case of two dimension geometry then how to find the equation of the line just compare the two dimensional geometry ill compare madi illi enide appo namge this is the equation of the line passing through the given point x1 comma y1 with slope m idalva right and second equation is this is equation of the line passing through two points what are the points here x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 adhe tara in three dimension geometry li so we are finding the equation of the line when the line is passing through the given point and the direction is given so direction is given adu na first form ide and the second one equation of the line passing through two points first one ide equation line passing through the given point and given vector okay adu nodthin discuss madu remember equation of the line e the line is uniquely determined by if first one it passes through a given point and has direction this is very important ill direction represent madutala so that is replaced by slope slope ante entu antilla two dimension geometry ill direction sigutte and a point as it is points in the pili x1 y1 z1 and the second one it passes through two points then how to find the equation line when the given point and direction and the second method when passes through two points these are the two methods to find the equation of the line first i would like to discuss about the equation of the line or derive the equation of the line passing through the given point and direction means here they parallel to the given vector adu bage discuss madana the equation of the line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector and remember in a two in three dimension geometry so the imagination bekagutte so ya don line pass aagidre nimge artha agala adike so we have one video so that will tells about the derivation of the equation line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector first i video observe madi so after that i will go with your derivation okay just observe the video here here we are finding the equation of the line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector b here okay so here we have the three dimension space x axis y axis z axis but now generally we are taken x y and z axis alva so if you go with any anti clockwise direction x y z valid x y z that is also valid we are always go with the anti clockwise direction so here we have the three dimension space and here we have the line which is passing through the given point a so passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector b just observe here here we have the line this is the line and this is the given vector which is parallel to the given line okay or you can say another word here the line is parallel to the given vector b and just observe here so here we have the vector a this is the position vector of the point a what is the position vector of the point a is here vector a and the corresponding coordinate point en agutappa namge x1 y1 z1 agutte point a ge x1 y1 z1 so a is the position vector of the point a with respect to origin and we have the shapes are here this is very important so let l passes through the point a and parallel to the vector b so this line is parallel to the vector b ok 
okay let p be an arbitrary point let p be then arbitrary point arbitrary point in the general point in x comma y comma z this is the p be an arbitrary point on the line on the line so then this becomes with a position vector if you draw the position vector from the origin to the point p that become vector r vector r is equal to an agatha panam x i plus y j plus z k from triangle of addition of vectors triangle of primordial for triangle o a p so o a plus a p is equal to o p agatha right o a plus a p is equal to o p because we are starting from origin so moving towards the point a then point p total displacement in agatha o to p agatha total displacement o to p is equal to o to a plus a to p that is represented here o a plus vector a p vector o a plus vector a p is equal to vector o p then we have vector o n told to be this is vector a and vector o p is equal to vector r this is a position vector of the point p just observe here Okay, obviously so here the vector b the line l is parallel to vector b at the same time vector b is parallel to the line just observe here in a vector algebra we are discussed when vector a and vector b are parallel vector a and vector b are parallel then there exist a real number uh, lambda belongs to the or a can be expressed as some scalar multiple of lambda into b or b can be expressed as lambda into vector a is the case right when two vectors are parallel similarly the line is parallel to the vector b so when the line is parallel to the vector b at the same time the vector ap so vector ap lies on the line alwa at the same time so vector ap is parallel to the vector b agutha Just observe. Hmm. L is parallel to vector B at the same time. AP is parallel to vector B. So then there exists a lambda which is a real number such that vector AP can be written as lambda into vector B. Next, from vector law of addition, we are discussed here, right? Vector OA plus AP is equal to OP. I got them. What is the vector A? OA here, vector A. and ap right as it is and vector r becomes here vector op become vector r substitute in the previous equation we obtain o is equal to vector a and ap is equal to lambda into b and op is equal to vector r we get vector a plus lambda into vector b is equal to vector r so this is the vector equation of the line nodi therefore the equation of the line through a given point and parallel to the given vector b is the formula vector r is equal to vector a plus lambda into vector b this is the formula artha aitha makkala this is very important vector r is equal to vector a plus lambda into vector b idu video nodidira So now go with your derivation. Then you have to derive it. So this video after this, what you have to do is derive it. Now you have to get vector r is equal to a plus lambda into b. That represents the equation of the line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector in vector form. At the same time, we have to derive for Cartesian form. We will discuss here. Now, dear students, we are deriving the equation of the line. Passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector b. So, in the video, we will derive the derivative of the equation of the line. Because in three-dimensional geometry, if you want to derive plane or if you want to derive equation of the line, imagination is very important. So, without imagination, we cannot learn three-dimensional geometry. Are you clear? Okay. So, now derive the equation of the line. Passing through a given point and parallel to the given vector b. If the vector b is represented, that gives the direction to the line. Okay, and just observe here. Here we have the three-dimensional space, and this is the x, y, and z axis, and the point of intersection is horizon. The given line passing through the given point 
f x1 comma y1 comma z1 this is the line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector b next so the position vector of the point a is vector o a are denoted by vector a let p of x comma y comma z be an arbitrary point or be the general point on the line just remember in space alina wo three dimensional geometry space alina wo tumke x y z irutte so coordinate point is x y z and the corresponding position vector is vector r corresponding position vector is vector r so derivation is very important okay here whether vector e and vector r okay so vector b is parallel to the line means the vector ap lies on the line at the same time vector ap and vector b are parallel this is the hidden agent of this formula let me important adu here we have to go with the vector ap and the vector b are parallel so once they are parallel we can express ab as scalar multiple of vector b or b can be expressed as scalar multiple of vector ap ashtu bodre we will get important this is very important here artha aitha makkala here ap is parallel to vector b this is the important thing we should remember while deriving the equation of the line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector so now we will derive the equation now the derivation is very important diagram and expression carries one marks okay this derivation is important for total five marks question okay. here we have i will take this as your x axis this will be horizon this is y and this is z axis en kottidare the line is passing through the given point here we have the line so which is passing through the given point a passing through the given point a and parallel to the given vector illana vector ide this is i will take this as your vector b this is your parallel to the vector b and position vector of the point a nanu ento antini i will take this as here vector oa and denoted by vector e so let p of x comma y comma z be an arbitrary point illon point to antini this is here point dp anta denote martini corresponding position vector with respect to horizon i will take this as here vector r vector r this diagram is very important So, diagram work for you first. The expression is here. Let L be the line. Be a line. Passing through. The given point. So, what is the given point? Point is here. Given point. A. A. with the position vector, right. the position 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 vector 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 right what is 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 of point 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 A A A A A is equal to vector A. O A is equal to to and parallel to the vector B. This is important. Then put it there. The line is passing through the given point A and parallel to the given vector B. Let P be an arbitrary point. Arbitrary point on the line. Let P be an arbitrary point on the line. with position vector with position vector of the point p l position vector of the point p is what is the position vector of the point p op is equal to vector op is equal to vector r vector op is equal to vector r this expression is very important okay so now we are going to the rest of the expression A derivation. So here the vector R 
is vector op then from triangle of addition of vector or else go with here vector b is parallel to the vector ap here vector ap is parallel to the vector b In last class we have discussed here when vector a and b are parallel a is equal to vector a can be expressed as lambda into b or b can be expressed as lambda into a here also when vector ap is parallel to the given vector b then vector ap can be written as right vector ap can be written as lambda into vector b right what is lambda here lambda which belongs to the real number so call this equation number one call this equation number one now from triangle now a triangle has considered one now very good o a p vector o a plus vector a p is equal to vector o p so total displacement or net displacement from point o to p is o to a plus a to p so i'll write here ap and body ap is equal to vector op minus vector o and the body okay just observe here vector op now we consider what is the vector r alpha therefore vector ap can be written as vector ap is equal to vector r minus vector a vector r minus vector a o a become here vector a now substitute vector ap in equation one therefore equation one becomes vector r is equal to right now vector r a p is replaced by r minus a vector r minus vector a is equal to lambda into vector b vector r minus a is equal to lambda into vector b therefore r becomes r is equal to vector a take minus vector a to right hand side that becomes plus plus lambda into vector b call this equation number sorry 2 call this equation number 2 sorry vector r is equal to m given to vector a plus lambda into vector b for each value of lambda if you change the values of lambda this equation number the equation 2 or this equation equation 2 represent the position vector of the point p on the line position vector of the point p on the line for each value of lambda conversely for each value of lambda above equation what is the above equation here this is equation number two above equation represents the position vector of the point p on the line of the point p on the line hence no d. so when r is equal to vector a plus lambda b that is the equation when it replace the lambda by different values we get the position vector of the point p on the line hence hence vector r is equal to lambda sorry vector a plus lambda into vector b be the equation of the line line in vector form in two case of two dimensional geometry we discuss about only quotation form but in case of three dimensional geometry for equation of plane as well as the equation of the line we derive in two forms one is vector form this is also called vector equation another form is a quotation form that is also called quotation equation so here r is equal to vector a plus lambda into vector b that represents the equation of the line passing through the given point with the position vector a and parallel to the given vector b in vector form take a pause and note on all the things what i have written here this derivation is very important for 5 marks 
ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಲಾಮ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಟ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಡಿರಾವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಲಾಮ್ಡ ಇನ್ ಟು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಝಡ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕಾರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನೋಡಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಎ ಏನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೊ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕಾರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲೈಟ್ ದ ಕೋ ಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ए b what is the coordinate of point a that is very good that is x1 comma y1 comma z1 comma and the second comma a b c a b c are direction ratios of the line ratios of the line and and this is very important the coordinates her coordinate of the point p b x comma y comma z because this is a general point or arbitrary point we taken x comma y comma z therefore what is the vector oa in agathe position vector of the point a becomes vector oa is equal to vector a is equal to x1 into i cap plus y1 into j cap plus z1 into k cap this is the position vector of the point a similarly vector op en barithivi this en bari bodappa vector op is equal to vector r bariyana corresponding coordinate points en idamge x y z alva so corresponding vector become position vector x into i cap plus y into j cap plus z into k cap and vector b this is very important okay a b c are direction ratios of the line then the vector parallel to the given line becomes vector b is equal to a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap ಅರ್ಥಾಯ್ತು ಇದನ್ನ ಒಂದು ನೋಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆಸ್ತೀನಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಇಂಟು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಟು ಜೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಇಂಟು ಕೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಲಾಮ್ಡಾ ಇಂಟು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಟೇಕ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಟು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಲಾಮ್ಡಾ ಇಂಟು ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ನಾವು ಸಬ್ಸಿಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ಸ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಏನಿದೆಯಪ್ಪ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಜೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಕೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆರ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಹೇಳಿ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವೈ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಜೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಕೆ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಲಾಮ್ಡಾ ಇಂಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಎ ಇಂಟು ಐ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ b into j cap plus c into k cap so don't confuse with your vector b and this is the term b they are entirely different okay this is vector b and this is the scalar component of direction ratios artha aitha makkala this is very important x my xi plus yj plus zk minus x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap is equal to i'll write it equal to here lambda into ai plus b into j cap plus c into k cap next step is very simplification so in case of vector algebra we are discussed when you are finding the difference of two vectors you are always go with component to component right i to y j to j and k to k so here also so what we have here x is the year x1 so this can be written as x minus x1 into i cap plus y minus y1 into j cap plus similar for z here z minus z1 into k cap i component here i component here x and here x1 so x minus x1 into i cap plus y minus y1 into j cap plus z minus z1 into k cap 
while finding the difference or addition of the two vectors always go with component to component i to i j to j k to k is equal to multiply by lambda here lambda into a into i cap plus lambda into b into j cap plus lambda into c into k cap this is the things what we opened and remember when two vectors are equal no just observe here left hand side and right hand side observe madaga here we have two vectors when two vectors are equal corresponding very good corresponding components are equal right scalar components are equal i to i j to j and k to k so this becomes x minus x1 is equal to a into lambda compare left hand side and right hand side we will compare this one x minus x1 is equal to a into lambda and y minus y1 is equal to b into lambda and z minus z1 is equal to c into lambda or lambda into c antanu barithivi or a into lambda or lambda into a lambda into b lambda into c nadru baribodu so now this becomes x minus x1 is equal to lambda y antanu bariyadu y minus y1 is equal to lambda into b z minus z1 is equal to lambda into c now keep lambda right hand side as it is and take remaining terms to left hand side from all the terms x minus x1 divided by a is equal to lambda and here for second one y minus y1 divided by b is equal to lambda and here z minus z1 divided by c is equal to lambda artha aitha makla this here x minus x1 by a is equal to lambda y minus y1 by b is equal to lambda z minus z1 by c is equal to lambda therefore x minus x1 divided by a is equal to nodi in place of lambda e term bari badalva that is y minus y1 divided by b is equal to in place of lambda again z minus z1 divided by c so this is nothing but the cartesian equation of the line so this is cartesian equation of the line which is passing through the point really part point is nothing but x1 y1 z1 and parallel to the vector b ela bodlu having the direction ratios a b and c artha aitha makla this is the derivation so complete derivation you know vector form as well as the cartesian form total derivation carries five marks this is very important okay take a pause and note on all the things what i have written here now dear students we are moving to the important notes okay derivation in the neat ag pause madkonde complete ag code because derivation is very important for exam point of view five marks question compulsory bande barutte and here from this topic we have started here the equation of the line passing through the point x1 comma y1 comma z1 and parallel to the given vector b is equal to a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap is vector form enagutha namge vector r is equal to a plus lambda into vector b similarly corresponding cartesian form enagutha appa namge cartesian form will be x minus x1 divided by a is equal to y minus y1 divided by b is equal to z minus z1 divided by c so this is the vector form and this is the cartesian form illi namge direction ratios kottidare so in the given direction presents what will the equation of the line we'll discuss that is note number 2 note number 1 note mark kodi take a pause and note on all the things and second point if l m n or direction presents of the line then its equation is given by equation agutte x minus x1 divided by l idella nodi direction ratios is replaced by direction present x minus x1 divided by l is equal to y minus y1 by m is equal to z minus z1 by l this is the equation or is a cartesian form artha aitha makla this is note number 2.2 right on next move on to the third point this is very important already discussed here in the case of while deriving the equation line in cartesian form suppose a b c are the direction ratios of the line then vector b is equal to a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap that represent the vector parallel to the given line right so illond line ide so illo this line illond vector ide this vector is this to parallel parallel means here scalar component of the vector 
becomes a direction ratios to the line direction ratios the illa nodi illi here where the line line ide so illond vector ide appa this is your vector b this is vector b so b is equal to anthu nona illa idu a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap if b is equal to a into i cap plus b into j cap plus c into k cap is a parallel the vector is parallel to the given line then a b c a b c they are nothing but scalar component of the vector what they are scalar component of vector these represents the direction ratios of the line direction ratios of the line at the same time if a b c are direction ratios of the line then the vector ai plus b into j cap plus c into k cap represent the parallel vector to the line arthayatha makkalu is very important the scalar component of the parallel vector they are nothing but direction ratios ai plus bj plus ck that is a vector parallel to the given line this is the point number 3 this is very important point number 1 point number 2 and point number 3 na neeta note madkon borkolri arthayatha makkala i hope this class has cleared all the things derivation of the line passing through the given point and parallel to the given vector in our next class we are moving to the second derivation equation of the line passing through two points adanna yav thara derive madod nodana here the important concepts are vectors vectors are the most important when the lines are parallel or when the vectors are parallel when the vectors are collinear all concepts ella carry madkontivi arthayitha makkala